Hey you guys, it's your favorite little keto goofball diamond and today is day 897 of my ketogenic journey and for those of you who don't know me, I've used keto to lose 142 pounds so far. I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday, something that was a mishap at the gym and then I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in and some really cool stuff. Like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell and let's rant, rave, and misbehave keto diamond style. So here's my breakfast. We're breaking my fast at 10 a.m. Uh, because I got to take some prednisone for my ear issue. I've got uh, two bubble yellow eggs fried in a little bit of coconut oil, two pieces of Monterey Jack cheese, and four sausage links, which is 1.35 servings of links I use. Got 145 grams of uh, filleted chicken breast that is just fried in coconut oil with hot sauce and some spices. I've got some Olive Garden Ranch. This is lunch, and it is 2 p.m. So I had a couple pork rinds and one of these um, Monterey Jack cheeses directly after the gym. I really want to cook and eat now, but I'm trying to put it off for a couple hours, so I'm not hungry later. You guys, I've got 160 grams of beef. I've got half a cup of Rayo's tomato basil sprinkled with Parmesan, and I've got 60 grams of collard greens. And somebody asked me the other day if we get tired of eating the same meals over and over. Sometimes, sure. Um, we just have certain meals that we really like and enjoy. The soup that's easy and, and cheap for us to buy. So sometimes we are repetitive, but then we'll get on something else later and we'll forget about this meal for a while. After the chicken, we had I had half a serving of the Lily's chocolate chips, um, but after dinner, I ended up having a whole serving. They're nothing bad. They are just uh, sweetened with stevia and erythritol. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. Now it does have nine total carbs, four from fiber and three from erythritol. I assume the other is from the stevia. I'm not real sure. It's not listed, but um, all in all, these are not bad to have. They haven't affected me yet. So I'm, I'm kind of pleased with the Lily's uh, milk chocolate style baking chips. Hey guys, so here's my calories and macros per my fitness pal. Now I did go ahead and add two servings of pork skins, which I have not ate yet. But I usually do kind of munch on them late at night, so I went ahead and added a couple servings just to be safe. Uh, calories, 21.56. Carbs, 17. Now, the lilies are listed on here in um, net, so it's less than 35, but, you know, it's still carbs if you count total. 185 grams of fat, 111 grams of protein. Now, remember, I do not get 180 grams of fat. Not really. Um, a lot of the, the fat from the beef actually cooks off, and that beef is done, it's weighed pre-cooked. So, you know, a lot of the fat is left in the pan. But if I cook for everybody and cook a whole bunch, it's impossible to say how much fat was from the beef I consumed. All right, so right after, ta uh, it's been about two hours since I took the Sudafedrin or the Mucinex D. I'm not taking that anymore. Blood pressure 189 over 106. And my chest feels like it's absolutely pounding. Hey guys, so we haven't, haven't even made it to the gym. My heart is racing. It feels like just like I've already been on the treadmill for 20 minutes at a very brisk pace. I am going to go. I'm not going to push myself to do anything too specific or too rough, but I'm, I'll never take those pills again. Never. The Mucin XD, they can just forget it. Okay, so funny, embarrassing story. Um, one of you told me a good song to download. It was a good song, or I always remember it as this one, Fallen Angel by Poison. Mama's Fallen Angel. But <laughs> I'm standing on the treadmill, and there's tears just leaking out of my head. I'm crying like a blubbering idiot. Hubby looks over at me. He's really, really concerned because my heart rate is also really high um, due to the medication. It reminded me of Haley, and I just started crying. And once you're crying, there's nothing you can do. The dam is broke. It's And there was ladies, like, on the other side of him kind of looking over at me. Not judgy, but concerny. And 
It's a little embarrassing, but I got over it and finished the workout anyway, feeling like a kind of an idiot. I was very concerned. I didn't know what was going on. I just knew she was crying. I was, I was worried. I, it was, I, I was leaking. Y'all know how leaking works. You just you just can't stop. And it's such a good song. It's a good old rock song. It it has nothing to do with death or anything, and and just got me. For those of you who don't know, um, our daughter-in-law, our grandson Zach's mom, passed away uh, over a year and a half ago. August of last year. Yeah, August of 18. And, man, I guess I ain't gonna get over it quite that easy, Emma. Alright guys, so I'm still doing the collab with Life by Jen or Jennifer Gwynn and her link will be in the description below. When she uploads, don't forget to go give her some love, some support, so, so this is a support, and Nudge her in the right direction, gently and kindly, as you do with me. All right, so also, collabs with my hubby, Mr. Hey, KD's Keto and Fitness. Maybe I should raise this up just a little bit, what y'all think? You can see him a little bit. Push the button. Okay, anyway, I love when he wears that shirt. I poke that button all the damn time. <laughs> Don't forget to go check out Mr. Katie's Keto, Keto and Fitness. That's where we put most of our workout stuff. All right, um, so, oh, oh. Many of you asked me about that Keto Diamond shirt I was wearing yesterday with the glittery, sparkly thing. That was sent to me by a subscriber named Angelica, who has um, agreed to get in touch with the person who made the shirt and see how much it would cost if anybody's interested, because a couple people did ask about it. They didn't see it on the, 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 the Teespring site, because it's not one of my designs. That being said, at the end of this video, you will see some brand new designs. I got a little design happy today. No lie, no joke. That's why it's dark in here. I didn't put my light up. Dead gone it. I sorry y'all. <laughs> what you do? Stink bug. All right. So y'all saw. Wait. Let, let me just go ahead and get into this. So this week I have been taking prednisone, which is raising my blood pressure and might be messing with my water weight quite a bit. It's hard to say for sure. I've also been eating some Lily's chocolates. That could also be a causal factor. They normally aren't, but maybe. I've also, last night I was much hungrier than I have been, which could be due to the prednisone. Or the working out. Or, and, and the working out, right. And so could my weight fluctuation. Something is wreaking havoc with the scale. And it could be any one of those things and a combination of those things. So since I don't have to eat the Lily's chocolate, but I do have to take the prednisone and working out is helping my blood pressure, we're gonna forgo the Lily's chocolate Yay, for a while. more for me. More for Anthony, he's the only one eating them. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and do this weigh-in so you can see what I weighed. One seventy five point. Not horrible, but not what I was expecting. Yesterday I weighed in at one seventy six. Today one seventy five point eight. I was peeing all day yesterday, but later in the evening my feet kept feeling like they were swelling and deflating and swelling and deflating. Again, could have been either one of those things or all of those things combined. It's hard to say. At night, when we do the video on Mr. Keto Diamond's channel, I do notice that my face to me looks fatter. It might just be that I'm tireder. It's later in the day. I don't really know. But we are going to start running an experiment, me on my channel and him on his channel, if we can remember to yeah, do it. Yeah, if we can remember. All right. Of weighing in before going to the gym and weighing in after getting back from the gym because I know that they call it getting pumped and you are... A little thicker and denser when you come back from the gym so I want to see how much that affects stuff now we enjoy working out at night it's just what works out best for us for me it helps me rest so good him too right yeah I mean you, you feel great when you first leave very livid and livid very alive and enjoyable but after a little while it's like okay can we go to bed now right yesterday was the first time we went as early as day, I think it was four o'clock, no, three, three o'clock when we got there. Right. And she was always ready for bed when I came back, and that was around Almost six, six or seven. Yeah. So you don't have to spend that much time at the gym either. We just kind of enjoy it, and that's what we're doing. And we're not overkilling it. So while we're there, we're just. We'll talk about doing how well. much time you should spend later in my video today if y'all are interested. Right. So um, we'd also like to show you more of the working out. I did put some over on Patreon. Can't do that much because the gym doesn't really allow you to record in there. Uh, 
And again, I'm touching on that subject. A lot of y'all have asked us to record our workouts and the names of the machines. We can't give you a picture in the name of the machine that we're working on. And we'll make it a better attempt to do that. But it's a lot harder than y'all think it is to get those yeah. machines without getting any bouts in view. I don't think they care about taking pictures. But we're not allowed to record. We right. sneak a video in and we don't think they're going to say anything to us. As long as nobody complains, but we don't want to push it. It's the only gym we got around here. Right, and we like it, so we don't want to mess ourselves up with that. But, you know, I'm really surprised about my weigh-in, to be honest with you. I peed like four times at the gym yesterday. I mean, I was just in the bathroom all day, so I just knew yeah, I was going to have... Yeah, even everywhere we stopped. I just knew I was going to have a whoosh, but again, later in the evening, my feet just kept doing the tightening and swelling, and one of them kids need to answer that day on foam. Anyway, guys and dolls. All those links will be in the description below. Check out these t-shirts I just designed. But if you need help with your keto journey, I help everybody for free. My contact information is below. I also have a website dedicated to helping you for free. It is KetoDiamond.com. Beginner's Guide, Foods List, everything. How to get your macros. All of it's over there. So if you need help further than that, my contact information is below. And I love helping people because this truly saved my life. Don't forget to check out the Shashka bracelets, the Lakantos, all the good stuff if you need, or one, well, no, you don't need one. But if you want like a Keto Mojo, you get 15% off of it using my link below. 50% off the Shashka bracelets, which are handmade, glass beaded, guaranteed to fit and guaranteed to last for life. What more could you want from your jewelry, especially when it's super cool, super beautiful, and fun. <laughs> that was a good sales pitch, right? Anyway, guys and dolls, much love to you. Bye. I got a little design happy today. This is my Keto Diamond merch shop. Uh, you can find the link in the description below with uh, the Teesprings link. If you do buy a shirt, make sure you send me a picture of you wearing it. I would love to show you and the shirt off to everybody. But I got a little design happy, like I was saying. Keto Saves Lives is probably my favorite. I need to make a t-shirt and tank top with that on it too. But everything comes in different shades, different sizes. Make sure you check them out. This one says over 100 pounds lost keto. I love keto. 200% keto, 50% knowledge, 50% groceries, 100% healthy. And of course, 200 pounds lost with keto. Ask me about keto. Keto cutie, yes. This one up here for best results, keto. I love keto coffee cups too. So anyway, check it all out, y'all. Description below.